Today we're going to be teaching you how to play Unicorns and Rainbows, which is our magical take on the classic game Snakes and Ladders. So Eunice and I are mildly obsessed with unicorns and with rainbows. As you can see, they feature heavily in many of our children's books. Um, so we decided that unicorns and rainbows would be a fabulous theme for the classic board game of Snakes and Ladders. The object of this game is to be the first one to get to 100. The way that you set it up is you first lay out the game board. You each choose a fabulous unicorn token, of which there are four. You pull out the spinner, which comes pre-assembled, and it's a lovely little sun with a nose that spins. And then you place your tokens at the start, which is in the bottom left-hand corner of the board. To start, the youngest player is going to spin the spinner. So I got five, so I'm gonna move my unicorn up five squares. One, two, mm -hmm. The next player then goes, I got five as well, so I'm going to move and go five. And it's perfectly fine for two tokens to be on the same square. Now, if a token lands on one of the stars, then the token gets to travel all the way up the sparkle trail to where the unicorn is on that space. If the character or the token lands on a sad cloud, then the token has to slide all the way down the rainbow slide to the bottom of the cloud. So those are the fun shortcuts and, uh-oh, moments of the game. Sometimes if you're spinning the spinner and if it lands between two numbers, you can just spin again. So play continues taking turns until one of the players reaches 100. And that's the game of Unicorns and Rainbows.